Today I thought I'd do another Tashi's Instagram tips video, just a short, quick video on questions you've asked me recently. The main one that you've been asking is how to do this type of effect, where it's like a grainy vintage film, scratches on the photo, like type vibe, you know, like these little hairs and just stuff like this, so photos like this. Um, I do use this, I, wouldn't, I don't use it on every photo at all, but I use it occasionally just if it fits the photo, I don't think this works for every photo. But there's certain photos I think it does look really cool on. So I'm just going to put my phone here, um, as always, just to show you exactly what I'm doing. So to do this, I go to my photography folder here, and then I go swipe that way and go to Afterlight. That is where I do it. So using this photo right here, I have already posted this photo. What you want to do is you want to go to the fourth one in, this one right here. Click on it, then you have four options. I use, I mean, for the dust effect, you use Dusty. There is other options to add like light leaks and stuff. I don't personally use them, but they do look really cool. I've never actually just never gone there, but maybe I should because it does look really bomb. Um, so you click on Dusty, and then it gives you 13 options to choose from, which are kind of like, they're just overlays. So they're basically just like an overlay over your photo. So if I click on number one, you can see it's given it like this is before, and then this is after. It just gives it like a dust effect. Um, they're not all great. I mean, this one here, for example, number four, gives your photo a very sepia tone to it. So it's very yellowy, which personally doesn't work for my page. But if you have a particularly yellow or vintage looking page, then you're going to love this one because it gives it that vintage feel and also a slight sepia tone to it. So you can see the before. So you can see my image is very cool toned. And then the after, very yellow toned. If you like that, you're going to like that. Um, I'm just going to go to one that's very heavy, just so you can see. Um, so like this one, 13. Like obviously you would never use it this high. You can adjust it down the bottom here. So if I bring it right down to the bottom, it's nothing. And then to the top, it's like full on. So you can adjust it here. You can also, with these four options here, you can change the scratches to black instead of white. So obviously right now, they're white. You click this one right here. Then they're going to change to black. Ta -da. So then they're black. And then just to show you on this one, so this option right here is the crack down the middle. Can you see it's got like the crack down the front, like the center of the photo. So with these four options again, you can also rotate or flip or anything the actual overlay. So if I click this one, it's going to turn it. So you can see it's now going horizontally across. If I click this one, it's going to flip it. And then this one's going to flip it the other way. And then that one's going to make it black. So yeah. So I'm going to go for, I think, number nine. I like number nine on this. And I think I'm going to go for black, actually, because I like that on the edge of the wall where the wall's white, you can see it. Whereas the white, you can see it more in the dark bits, obviously. But the black, I think, is quite cool because you don't see it on my jumper, but you can see it everywhere else. I might just turn it down a touch to 72. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Then the other thing I just want to show you is how you add just like a grain effect to the overall image, not like scratches or anything, just grain. So it's like gritty, you know? So you go into, well I do it on InstaSize, there is lots of apps you can do it on. And if you go to the second one in, which is like the adjustments for like lighting, contrast, stuff like that, go right you know, just snored. Go right to the end and you have grain. So this is it up at 100% and then you can turn it obviously down. So this is down and this is up. Um, actually, let me just zoom you in a bit on this image so you can see a bit clearer. Okay, so this is at full 100% and this is nothing. So you can see nothing's just like clean and crisp and clear because that was the original photo. And then if I push it all the way up, it's super, super grainy. I personally usually have this around 24. Of course, I have it at 24, 24 or 48, depending on how much grit and grain I want on the photo. Let's just zoom back out. And then you can see here, this is the before photo before the filter and any editing whatsoever. And then this is after. So it's a lot more contrasty, a lot more grainy. And yeah, it's just like different tone, obviously. So this was the original photo.
and then this is the one after. I do have a full video on how I edit my Instagram photos if you're new to my channel and you've never seen one of these videos from me before. There's loads on my channel all about how I edit photos and everything, so if you go to the playlist, I'll put it in the eye. Is the eye here? Where is the eye here? I can't remember. But wherever the eye is, I'll put it there and you can watch how I edit my photos, but there will be a new one coming very soon because you guys keep asking for it. Okay, so that is everything for this video, guys. That is how quick and easy it is to add this effect to your photos if you're feeling the grossy, grainy, vintage camera kind of vibes. Totally am, I love it. I think it looks really cool on the right photo and not maybe on every photo, but whatever photos you like. That's everything from me, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh.